boys yo what up guys welcome back to another video hope you guys are doing good all right so today we're gonna take a look at the market um i think sheriff leaked something we're gonna take a look at that in a second possible investments coming for you guys all right and some that i think we should definitely definitely take a look at uh before we get into it though make sure you guys do drop a like on the video and subscribe if you guys are new for daily fifa 22 market slash investments let's get into it all right so i actually just realized i think he just tweeted this but uh Kelleher, or however you pronounce it a silver stars for birthday coming out Something different. Cheeky, cheeky. He'll probably be like four star, five star or something. So could be pretty fun. Man. All right. Also, Sheriff is saying new type of friendlies coming. Classic cup number of daily entries. Pack words and a shorter half. You know, I kind of like this. Uh, I don't know if you guys have played back in the day, like FIFA 15, 16 time. They used to have like daily tournaments, I think. And you can win like random stuff from it. Um, and I think it was like every time you win, maybe the wards got a little bit worse because you keep winning, right? So hopefully it's something like that if so maybe i'll be much more interested uh to do some gameplay honestly okay and the last thing that sheriff's saying is uh mm ucl for uh coming this week so i asked my fika you guys can see uh we're gonna take a look at some cards that i think you guys should pick up if you haven't already do a little club stock but uh, make sure you guys check them out link down below the king of the leaks all right check them out okay guys first card i'm gonna recommend today straight off the bat of uh sheriff's tweet iax versus ben benfica we're gonna start off vertongan 81 right now he's 800 coins on all consoles basically a little higher on pc but we're gonna aim for discard 700 coins guys go for it go for it um if you buy a 700 i mean you know hopefully he goes up even if he goes up to like 1000 or 1100 think about it from 700 to 1100 that's like a 40 percent return um obviously to make some coins you do have to buy a good amount but if you buy 700 coins, though, the worst thing that can happen is he doesn't rise that much. And, you know, you can at least make maybe 100, 200 coins off each one. Um, not a bash out at all. Go for it, guys. Discard price. Okay, staying in the same boat, guys. Lissandro Martinez, once again, Ajax versus Benfica. Um, he's a bit higher, so maybe take a look at Vertonghen. However, at this uh, current point, I would say 800 coins, all consoles. You should be all right. Should pop up quite a bit as well. Um, check some bids, of course. Um, once again, another one where if you want, really want to make some coins, you might have to mass buy a bit. So uh, low budget, guys, though. This is definitely, definitely very, very cheap. Okay, guys, so foot birthday Sancho. Wow, like what a card, man. Looks insane. He's currently at 900k. Uh, I'm personally still expecting EA to maybe do some more lightning rounds throughout this week. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys to not buy right now, but keep an eye out on Sancho. Um, team of the week CR7 I think should be coming considering he got the hat trick, right? He should be in. Hard links to him. Uh, I think could be a very good shout, especially once people start playing weekend link and getting their reds in. Um, you know, the people that practice CR7 and whatnot. So keep an eye out on him. If in the next two days he drop more lightning rounds, he drops like 50 more here. So I would definitely take a look. But just definitely keep him at, uh, in your brains. Uh, I would say from now until maybe even like Thursday. Okay, real quick, all right. So we are expecting a POTM Mbappe, uh, hopefully at the end of this week. Uh, if you guys have any versions of, versions that are tradable of Mbappe, personally, guys, I would sell, man. Like, real talk, I would sell. Um, after he POTM comes out, my prediction is, I mean, these are going to probably drop more, right? And then he'll probably rebound. They could rebound a little bit, but just to be safe, though, why go through that, right? Um, yeah. Also, keep in mind, going back to CR7, all right? Whenever the striker's coming out, um, other versions that are already, other cards that are already out, sometimes do take a bit because people like to substitute. Not saying that even Golden Bobby is going to be worse than a Team of the Week CR7 because Mbappe is Mbappe, right? But, you know, that's just how the, you know, the FIFA market works. So, uh, yeah. Personally, uh, the SCM go back to two, sorry, 600K, let's say, in the next 24 hours if you're on PlayStation. I would sell. I would think I would take the coins. All right, Vinny is down about 100k since Real Madrid played about two hours ago at the time of recording. Um, so obviously, I think Benzema took his double upgrade, up, upgrade away from him. So, you know, guys, he is down. He should still be getting a plus one, though. Um, you guys already know, a lot of times, sometimes when cards get upgraded, they actually end up you know, dropping a bit because people are just undercutting. Him, though, there's not crazy, crazy supply on the market. However, I'm just going to say this. If he drops, starts dropping again, all right, like under 1.2 on Xbox starts to get in the 1.3s for ps in the next couple of days take a look take a look guys um you know he is one that's always going to rebound uh just be, i'm only throwing him in for now because he's down 100k however to buy them we want him to draw more first okay if you're interested in a guy like let's say full birthday dabala who has crazy card uh crazy card right guys at 1.3 right now uh my opinion is to once again wait till at least wednesday going back to what we said team of the week star seven coming out mbappe POTM, and that's just what we are pretty sure is coming out right there could be others as well other six strikers and whatnot um also keep in mind earlier we did say that ea should be running more lightning rounds in the next couple of days so yeah um Dybala, i want a lot as well however 
slow and steady wins the race. It's one that I'm willing to track him maybe even until like Thursday. Maybe even when the promo ends Friday. Think about Team 1, right? Foot birthday. Guys like Allen. Allen was like 780 going out of packs. And then Team 2 with Paqueta, Firmino, right? All those guys. Obviously, Allen is like a CDM. Those guys are more center mid, second CDMs. But yeah, he's still tanked because there's a market crash that day anyways. On top of substitute uh, options that people could use, right? So... My whole point is, if, you want, if you're interested in a guy like Dybala, guys, or anything that big that's like a center forward striker, uh, I think I will wait Thursday, maybe even Friday. All right, Yuri, I have been buying like a madman, all right? However, uh, he is up about 1,000 coins, maybe even 1,500 coins from when we were buying on Sunday. Um, so, guys, what I'm going to say is now, all right, we're going to compare with Cruz is the one I always go to as like gold 88 fodder just for reference. So, yeah, I mean, they're still the same price. You guys do know, of course, fodder is up today, though, however, uh, because of the review pick or whatever. Uh, saying that, though, guys, 27k all consoles, I still think it's good. Uh, fodder is not going to stay the same. Uh, if you missed out, I think in my last video, maybe two videos ago, I told you guys to do a club stock. If you did, GG, we're literally, like, Cruz was under 24k, I believe. So, uh, yeah. Yuri, though, guys, 27k. Go for it. Go for it. Good links. Uh, Five-star skills, which, you know, some people like. Uh, out of packs, definitely think he's, if you're going to invest in fodder, I personally would go for him. All right, guys, Inform Theo Hernandez is up to 200. His low point was around 180. However, I personally still think he is decent if you guys buy, like, for a 10K undercut. As you guys can see, uh, he, at one point, the lowest. Uh, Footprint shows you guys 190. However, I promise you guys, he was about 180, 185, all right, at the absolute lowest point. He is up to 200, but this card looks so good. And he's in packs for, I believe, a uh, day and a half. Wednesday, he's out, right? So, uh, guys, Tuesday, which is tomorrow... If they do lightning rounds, I, in my opinion, that's probably the last chance to really get them at a decent price. If you want this card, all right, lightning rounds tomorrow, 6, 7, UK around there probably, is going to be the time, all right? I'm um, saying that, though, once again, if you're just sniping now, like, if I see one right now for 190, for say, I'm going to pick it up. Uh, let's say you buy my 190, tomorrow lightning rounds come out, he goes down to 190, big deal. He's going to go back, he's going to rebound, all right? So, uh, yeah, aim for 10k undercut, 7 to 10k just for tax purposes um, tonight into tomorrow content time. Okay, this uh, Silas card I do think looks decent. Five star, five star. Obviously, his uh, he's in the Bundesliga, but the nation is hard to link. However, guys, if you just basically compare, right? Same thing with Allison. He's fodder price. Um, up to you guys, but two to three k undercuts is what I'm gonna be going for. I'm thinking like 37 on PlayStation and PC right now. Probably 38 max on Xbox. Uh, five star, five star, super sub potential. I'm sure you guys already use him. Let me know down below if you have used him and if he's good. But uh, yeah, same prices, special cards that are same price as fodder, guys. You guys know me. That is what I like to go for. Two, three counter cuts, not a bash out. Guys, another card that I do like a lot, all right? And I'm actually going to announce a potential series I'm going to be doing uh, while we look at this card. So guys, first off, Neuer's price, all right? He's currently 100k. If this guy goes under 100, I'm going to take a look. Uh, I'm going to check tomorrow at content time once again. It looks a bit cheap to me, honestly. Uh, German links, Bayern links, I feel like in the future... Once he's out of packs, he's definitely going to have so many linkable, you know, cards. And uh, over time, I think he will develop some, like, hella more demand. And, of course, supply will stop. But, uh, yeah, guys, see if he goes on 100k. Uh, right now, I'm currently sniping at 102 max, though. Xbox, guys, I will go for 115. Uh, PC, he's a bit high. See if you can get him for, like, 125 tomorrow at content time. Yo, but the series, guys. So, let me know if you guys are interested. So, anyone that watches me regularly on Twitch, if you don't, Twitch, link down below, twitch.tv slash real one. We stream five to six days a week. Um, so guys, on days where I'm not able to do a market video, right, because let's be real, not every day uh, we need to make moves, right? Sometimes you buy stuff and then you hold wait for it to rise and then we make more moves, right? So on the days where I have nothing to upload market-wise for you guys, let me know your opinions down below, guys. My, what I plan to do is, um, once again, I'm not that great at gameplay, so I want to do like funky gameplay, right? For example, Neuer, why he reminded me was, I want to do like Neuer at Striker for a video, for example, right? Or, and you guys know me, I do have a lot, a good amount of coins, so I can do some funky stuff that no one does, right? We could do like R9 as center back, for example. Some people, the elite players, the really sweaty players are probably going to think, you know, this is a waste, but I think it's something that not many people do. Another idea I had was uh, a, a team full of 11 players, but hear me out. Every person has to play in a different position. So, you know, however I start, everyone has to start somewhere else, so... Let me know down below, guys, if you guys do want some, I guess, casual kind of like, it's going to be mainly joking gameplay. But I, trust me, guys, we're going to try our best to make it entertaining. Uh, I'm definitely going to go through with it, but uh, if there's any players you guys want to see in featured videos as well, let me know all down below.
All right, guys, next card we like is Ndidi. Uh, Ndidi is literally only good, in my opinion, on PS because he's kind of low. Uh, 28 to 9K is what I've been aiming for. Market price with a shadow usually goes for like 36, 37 already. So if you want instant profit, go for him with the shadow. Uh, but yeah, the other consoles, yeah, he's a bit too high. Uh, PS, insane, insane supply, though. Uh, he's about 4K more than other 88s right now. Going back to, for reference, of course, is Cruz. Uh, you guys can see he's about 4 or 5K more, so... Yeah, he's got the usability, Prem as well. Uh, if you can get him at like 28, 29k, you know, I know it's 1, 2k over Cruz, but uh, because of the usability and the demand, I think he'll have being Prem, not a bash out. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know uh, down below in the comments what you guys think about the potential new series. Uh, I say potential, but I'm most likely going to do it, all right? Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new for daily FIFA 22 content. See you in the next one.